Hello everybody and welcome back to Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Now, today we are carrying on with our Great Place quest. And just to get 95% happiness in all these regions that don't have it. So I believe it's still Radiant Sands. 94%. I could probably do that with a few trees, but I think that what we might want to do, just for the fun of it. Yeah, the fun of it is to maybe make some poutine and try and capture a fenicorn and pop it in our farm because I think that would be awesome. Um, also, quest for coast. Oh no, they're 96%. They're good. They're fine. Dapplewood Forest. We haven't done everything there. Apparently, we've only done 90% of the quests in Dapplewood Forest. However, I can't see any quest markers, so that makes me a little bit curious. So we might head on up there and see if I can find what that last quest is. I am very curious about that. I'm just going to walk. It's very close. And we can pick up materials on the way. Although I'm getting stacks and stacks and stacks of things at the moment. up here this is the entry to dapplewood forest so what is it that we've missed here then what have we missed here because there is definitely an extra quest but there's definitely no exclamation mark showing which is quite interesting so we'll run around a bit because what might have happened is now that we are the super duper masters of the um Tinker's Guild, there may be more quests that we can pick up that were dependent on that because I'm certain that Hipsterius didn't show up until we'd mastered the Tailor's Guild. So there might be something very similar for the Tinker's Guild. Tinker's Guild. So I'm just going to run around, chat to people as much as we can and try and work out what this last quest is. Because that would definitely give us well at least very close to our 95 percent happiness we definitely need to get all the quests done for that it's nice to have one final quest that that gives all of that because i felt like the oh it's raining i definitely felt like uh the end of the quests was a little bit kind of well it, the quest line finished too quick Bambexes can play pranks on each other. That's so cute. That is so incredibly cute. Yeah, so anyway, I felt like it was really, really quick and it didn't require me to do enough in the game before I had basically finished it. So then it felt like I was just carrying on for nothing. But this whole Kirin quest thing... I don't know why I chopped that down. Well, let's, let's replant it anyway. It's actually good because I can see how many trees I've got left in, his, in this area to do. Well, tell me now. Another ten. Ten more trees. So just this is just the very border of it. I don't think there's anything here. I think I'm gonna head back to the Tinker's Guild now. We'll head around this way. And we'll see if anybody's got any quests in there for us. If not, then I'm not really sure. Not really sure at all because. Okay, so what's up here? A staircase. Do you people have any quests for me? What do you exchange over here? I always forget. Bits and bobs for items of any kind. Okay. What do you have to trade? Uh, at the moment, the only thing I'm particularly interested in is Aliora seeds. However, I'm a little bit interested in buying herbs. You'll see why later. I'll give you... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a secret. It's for poutine. I want poutine. 
I'm gonna run out of gruffle milk at this rate though. But any herbs I can get, great stuff. So, no one there. Green foxes. Jungle fox. <gasps> wow! They're so cool. Okay, so let's head on down to the actual Tinker's Guild and see if they've got any quests in there for us to do. Because I can't see any quests in this area on the map at all. So there's got to be something new that we haven't picked up before. But I don't know what. Anyone around here? Any exclamation marks coming up? Speak to people. Yeah. Bob and Toph is desperate to get rid of all their accessory goods. It's good to speak to people. They tell you things about trading. And then I promptly forget all of it. So let's go and have a chat to the lady up top. See if she's got any more to tell me. I'm pretty much out of ideas really at the moment. Well done, you've mastered the arts of the tinker. Oh, I hadn't handed in the tinker's quest. Right. One more to go, though. However, the fact that it hadn't... Eighty-nine percent. Yeah, the fact that I hadn't handed in probably means that there's something now that will show up. But I don't know whether I need to leave it a little bit of time before it does. Or whether it will immediately show up, whatever it is. I don't know, this is feeling a little bit like a wild goose chase to me. We could pop back to our farm and see if there's anything around there. Collecting lots of resources on the way, which is kind of cool. But I might need a day or so to like set the quest in motion. For most areas, I've done all the quests. Most of them. Uh, it's only really this one, I think. There's still a couple of quests down in the by the Tailor's Guild. They're still Hipsterious and... Is that all? Oh, the cats. Yeah, the cats. Stupid cats. Go head over to my farm, see if there's anything going on around there. Otherwise, I'm just going to see if I can work out what the jungle foxes like to eat. I don't know if all the foxes like the same things, you see. No, no... No sudden quest markers showing up. So I think I'm just going to work on the farm and try and raise the happiness that way. I need another 6%. So Bambexes, right, let's see if I can find anything else out about a Bambex, whether I can find out their size. Are they large? Small, all the foxes are small. Enjoys chewing long strips of vine. All oh, right, so they'll probably eat vines, they'll probably eat webs. There's one fox I don't have. Horse fox, I don't know what that would eat. They melt snow to drink. Digs up rocks to play with. Grass fox likes fodder. Groffles, bambexes are small. Right. So if we can get a bambex to follow us, we can put down that um, small animal pen that we put down. And we can adopt it. Will you come with us, Bambex? Yay, yay. You want a vine? Come on, then. 
Come on, follow me. That's right. Good little bambex. So this farm has got a really bad farm rating and we need to sort that out. So the bambex. Can I adopt you? Will you go on my farm? Without a pen or do I need a pen for, to adopt you? Probably a pen. Right, let's go and build a pen, shall we? Bambex pen. So. A to build. Bambex house. Rotate with the right back button. I just want to pop it back in this corner so there's plenty of space for it. So place it there. Build. Done. So, Bambex. I might need to take him off the farm and back on again, possibly. You still following me? I need room to adopt him before he'll actually adopt and I had to do this with a groffle. I had to take it off the farm and back on again. Are you going to live in that small animal pen? Come on. Come on, let me adopt you. Oh, he's finished. I have another vine. Come on. I love the way they follow me, it's so cute. Why am I not getting an adoption option? I'll go in there go in here. Pen is just big enough for you. Oh, I don't understand this. Why is it not giving me the adoption option? Grr. I'll take you off the farm a little bit then and then back on. This is really, really frustrating. It's like, come on. Come on, Babax. To make sure that it's far enough away. It counts as off the farm. Then we'll try to go back on. Get stuck, little dude. Come on. Oh, I put down a large animal pen. What? I didn't realize I even had a large animal pen. Why did I have a large animal pen? How weird. Okay, well that needs to, to move. Um, let's see if I have a small animal pen. That's why you won't adopt, because I've got the wrong animal pen size. I really hope that doesn't mean that I've got the wrong sized animal pen sat in Radiant Sands. It probably does. Ugh, what a pain. Where's the book gone? Where's the building book? Is it behind here? Yeah, it's behind here. So, A to build, small animal pen. I'll take back up the large animal pen in just a second. Okay, does that mean that you'll adopt now? Please tell me that means you'll adopt. Or do I have to have all the troughs and stuff as well before? Come on. Yay! Finally! 
Bambex, you are in your little place. I'll try and give you some friends soon, but I do need to pull that one up. So I need to go somewhere else where, like, maybe shivering plain to one of those bears or something. So, 1% value producer. We've increased that a little bit. We need to care for the animal, though. Move. Perfect. So our Bambax needs animal care, and the animal care will probably come when I build troughs and things like that. So let's see what I can build. Maybe a stone one, even. We've built so much wood stuff. Um, tree planter. Sturdy water trough. Iron, copper, and lead. And a constructor's kit. Well, I can make a constructor's kit. Need four of them. Five of them, probably, actually. And then, what was it? Two copper, two iron. Oh, I don't have enough iron. Nightmare. What about the feeding trough? Lead and iron. Do I really not have any iron ore? How have I done that? Have I sold all of it? Wow. Might have to make them out of wood then. Okay, so to make a wooden water trough, uh, a feeding trough is going to be some glue in a carpenter's kit. That's fine. Um, carpenter's kit, glue, plank, wood tiles, water. Carpenter's kit, glue, wooden plank. Oh, we don't have any wooden planks, do we? Nope. And we can't make them either. Nope. And some more wood tiles and water. Alright then. I can't believe I don't have any iron ore. How have I managed to run out of that? How have I... I was selling loads of it. I know that. Got one left. Got loads of lead. Loads of copper. Sold far too much iron. Now I'm paying for it. Oh dear. Well, let's go and see if we can maybe buy something at the Tinker's Guild or something like that. I'll put down the um, the fodder anyway, at least they'll have something to eat. And then we will need to make them something to drink before I'm happy to leave. I'm not happy to leave my poor little dude all on his own without any food or water. That is just mean. So I'll just pop that right outside his place. And at that point we have more animal care. So we've got a 36% farm rating. Having a 36% farm rating means that I will have a slight increase to... Hmm. Still only 89%. We still need to build more trees. There is still, apparently, somewhere... Merc. Where is that going to be? There's something I'm missing in Dapplewood Forest. There's some secret cave or something. There's got to be. There's something I am seriously, seriously missing here. We're missing Merc and a quest. Island over there. What is it I'm missing? Because that's going to really hold me up in this quest, isn't it? It's going to be this last little tiny secret that we've got. So I'm going to have to get the farm up loads to make up for that. Okay, um, 
But it's not even showing, like all of the mercs used to show on the map. It's not even showing it on the map. I might work on some of the other stuff uh, though today and I'll maybe even look for it off camera because I have a feeling this is going to be something that will take me a long time to find. I could get a jungle fox too and he could keep the Bambex company. But no, don't have time for that at the moment. Ah, there is something across the river that's showing up there. Look, got a question mark. Have I never been across there? Let's look on the map now. I just saw a question mark. We've never been on that side of the river. I have to work out how to get there now. Because that is going to be super important. So, can I go through here? How far can I get if I go through here? Okay, I can get a certain way. Can I jump up on these rocks? They look jumpable. Which doesn't even always mean they are. Can I... How far can I walk round? It's always worth trying. Okay, can't really walk round. It's quite high up there, isn't it? Like I need to somehow get onto that rock. No. Oh. Was it really that easy? That's ridiculous. I feel like such a fool that I've never been here before. Okay, so there's some more Merc that we've got to clear. The last Merc in the whole of Dapplewood Forest. And of course that's where all the cats are. Where are you? I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. There you are. Hello. Hello, Mr. Cat. Purr, purr. One last Merc to go. 13 sprites, so that was quite a hard one. ba -da! Right, so how are we doing now? 94%. So we've just got to find the last quest, which will probably be here somewhere. <laughs> yes, there's a dude down there. Here we go. Hello. You look like Hurley's long lost son. Grandpa Gertie. No, that's not it. It's under there. Oh, hey kids, help Grandpa out. Have you seen my Bambex? It's small and cute, kind of brownish, like vines. Big horns, like a cactus. Well, there's some over there. Could maybe try and bring one of those back. Hey dudes, want a vine? Want a vine? Want a vine? Come on, let's go back to Grandpa. That's not my Bambex. Okay, so we will find and return a Bambex and then we'll see if he says, it's that's not my Bambex. Mine has golden horns or something. That's a fine Bambex you've got there, kiddo. It looks like my Bambex. Let me see. Yes, yes. No, yes, no. That's not my Bambex. Its hooves are too shiny. Try again, kid. I'm certain you'll find it this time. Okay. I'm going to run out of vines at this rate. Let's grab some vines. <sighs> Let's try this Bambex. Okay, you come over here. You'll come see Grandpa. Hopefully your hooves are not too shiny. I, I can't see the difference, see, considering they didn't actually bother to draw you any hooves. Uh, but, you know, hopefully Grandpa will know. Mm. 
seaweed cake? No. A fish-shaped cloud? Uh, purple underpants? No, that's not it. Hi, kid. Ooh, a bambex. That's what I'm looking for. Let me see. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes, no. That's not my bambex. Its horns are too pointy. Try again, kid. I certainly will find it this time. <laughs> and I know this whole load of bambex is behind me. Oh, my goodness. There's one over here. Is this your bambex? It's tiny. You probably say that this one's too small. This tiny bambex. Come on. Follow me. Tiny bambex. Come on, tiny bambex. So cute! It was like a baby one! Did you know Bambex can count? No, 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 wait! That's my Bambex! His coat is so soft! Thanks, kid, I love my Bambex! Here's a leather placard and some fur lined trousers for returning my fluffy Bambex. Perfect! Now we have finished Dapplewood Forest's last quest and. We now have over 95% happiness. Yay! Now, Radiant Sands is going to depend upon us getting some poutine. Let's see how much more we've got to go in Radiant Sands. Getting some more poutine, putting a large animal pen down and putting a... Um, Fennicorn in it. I think fennicorns are large. I will check in the animal doofer, which is uh, here. Animal doofer. Fennicorn. Size large. So they are large. Japakas are also large. Although Numino Peak apparently is happy with me, so I don't need to worry too much about the farm there. Fluff cubs in the Shivering Plains are also large, so we might want to put them in. Sprig pigs are small. Squambles are small. Bambexes are small. All the foxes are small. Gruffles, gruffles, fenicorns, chapacos, and fluff cubs are the only ones that are large. Okay, so let's have a look at the map now. So we have done this area. This area is 97% happy. Numino Peak is fine. Oh, because Numino Peak does not have a farm. It appears to be the only one that doesn't. Interesting. Shivering Plains, we still haven't found all the sprites. So that's not really helping, is it? Um, Radiant Sand is only 1% off. I could maybe plant trees, but yeah, making poutine would be fun. So Shivering Plains, what other one was it? Crestful Coast. Crestful Coast also doesn't have a farm. Oh, hang on, no. Crestful Coast was fine. So we actually only have like six farms. I didn't realise how many areas there were that didn't have them. What was the other one? Hearthwind Vale. Oh, Hearthwind Vale's going to be really hard. Because there's two quests I haven't done there. Hmm... Let's see how how close we are. 100% of the Merc is gone and 93% happy. If I worked really, really, really hard on the farm there, it might not matter so much that I haven't done all the quests. However, when Hipsterius's quest is done in the autumn, that might be enough to give me an extra 2%. So it might just be better to wait on that one. And go up. Uh, yeah, I think really um, it's going to be the Shivering Plains and also making the poutine, isn't it? Let's pop up to the Shivering Plains then. Where are we on the map at the moment? We are probably better off actually walking to the Shivering Plains at this point. <clears throat> I think we can just walk this way and get to them straight away. So that is what I'll do. It's better than trying to get across that river. I can't believe you could just walk up the rocks. And I hadn't done that the whole time I've been playing this game. 
I suppose there's a lot of other things to do. That's my excuse anyway. Soot foxes. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, they're amazing. I love them. I know that they're all just reskins of each other with different colours, but there's something really cool about them. Right. Pick up as many mint leaves as I can. If I see any iron, I will need to pick it up. So what I would probably say here is that I need to make um, a pen for the fluff cubs and find out what fluff cubs like to eat. Whatever it is that they like to eat, I don't have it apparently. So that's interesting. I might have to just go and work out what these last few animals like to eat. Let's see if it says anything that will give me a clue in the inventory. So, fluff cub. Lives in the icy north. Hmm. Maybe it's something I have to cook. Well, do you know what? If I lived in the icy north, I would probably like to eat fish. Do we have any fish? Well, we do. So if it was just a fish, they would have taken that off me, which they didn't. So it's either a particular kind of fish or it's cooked fish. So why don't we see if that's what they like to eat? Because I can always do more fishing if... if... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Fluff cub! You like cooked fish? That was some good logical reasoning on my part. So what, what else do we find around here? We find those soot ones. Soot fox. They hoard coal, so you probably have to give them coal. And the other thing that we find around here is deer packers. I have no idea what they're going to want. So I found 15 out of 16 of the animals, which means that that Kirin is the last one to find. It's pretty cool. I haven't found all the fish, though. There's one, that looks like a boot, more than a fish, honestly. But, you know, we're going to have to do some more fishing to feed these guys, apparently. But yeah, even if I just have, you know, it's, it's more about the care of the animals on the farm. I'm not worried so much about production. I can do this great place, great place task without having massive production on the farms. It's fine. Okay, so what else have we got to do here? And how much have we got to... I've forgotten already. 91% happy. We need 4 more percent. We have a sprite that we have not found. It's got to be somewhere. My... Uh, have we found any sprites in the village? So let's try in the village first. And then I'll run around again for the 400th time. Is it me or do I think we maybe found a sprite in here? Before. Um, am I remembering rightly? Oh, that's some deep water. Having a general look around in the village. Um, it's. I'm sorry if this is going to be a tiny bit boring because it's going to be me just looking around everywhere trying to work out how to get a sprite. Whereas normally sprites, it's a little bit easier because they just pop up and you're just doing something else and they just pop up. Uh, this last one 
has managed to elude me for this long as well. I mean, we've done all the quests, haven't we? So there's none going to pop up from quests. Yeah, none are going to pop up from quests. I've got to find it somewhere. But I'm sure that we already had one in this village. I wonder if this might tell you where they already came from. We'll go to the actual sprites themselves. No, it doesn't tell you where they came from. I'm missing that one. One with horns. Hmm. Okay, I... I don't think it's here, but... There's a fluff cub down here. Oh, did it follow me because of the fish? Oh, how cute. Okay, dude, let's go Let's go build you a home. I might need to do some more fishing because your fish will probably run out way before I manage to build you a home. I will head to the farm anyway. There's still cats here as well. I know there are. At least I think there are. Well, there's snowy foxes as well. Interesting. How the coal foxes are only in a really specific part of Dapplewood. Oh, maybe they're the Numino Peaks one. So yeah, we need to put down a large animal pen here so that we can get one of these uh, big fur cubs into it. Build! Large animal pen. As a w oh, we've already got a water trough, actually. I never put the water... I know I haven't put the water trough in in Dapplewood. And I might need to go back and do that because that poor Bambax will be so thirsty. I need to get some more iron and stuff like that first. So we've placed it. Build it. Done. Right. Is my fur cub still with me? No. <laughs> That's fine. So um, I need to go and do some more fishing because I don't actually think I have any more fish. I'll check. But I think I've used all my fish. No, I haven't apparently. All right then. Make cooked meat. Well, that wouldn't be my next guess. What else can we cook? Can we cook anything else nice? Okay, so for a coal and a broth of milk, we can make warm milk. That would be interesting to know. I'll make one because I'm interested to know, compared to coal and broth of milk combined, how much a warm milk would sell for. But I want to keep some of my coal. And the reason I want to keep some of my coal is in case I want to tame one of those little coal foxes. Because they're really cute. Okay, Fluff Cub, come with me. I have a home for you. Away from all your brethren. Have some fish and come with me. I will put you in a pen and keep you captive. <laughs> Maybe not. Stop making that pitiful sound. And you look so sad. Why did they draw them so sad? They look like they've got sad little faces. Yes, I would like to adopt the fluff cub. I would like to give the fluff cub some water as well. Um, no, I actually need to build it, don't I? Duh. So if I give them a water trough, then hopefully that will increase my animal care a little bit. Have a nice water trough. Yum. So we're up to a 37% farm rating with that now. And we'll see how that's going to help us. 
We're at 91 out of 95%. We really need to find that sprite. If we found that sprite, we would be, like, totally there. Hmm. Where could it be? This could be a long time coming as well. Um, let me look on the map and just see if there's anywhere that we really haven't been to. Once you get to there, it counts as Numino Peaks. I didn't really look around on the rocks where... Uh, across from the bridge. Maybe we could have a look at those a little bit more detailed. In a little bit more detail. I'm pretty sure I've looked everywhere else in quite a lot of detail. I mean, we could go try and go back in that room, but we found all... I'm sure we found all the sprites in that room. You know, the, the one under the... Um, under the ground where we found all the trail to the wind catcher and all that sort of thing. That little quest there. That was amazing, that quest, by the way. I really enjoyed it, and we had to hit the bell and everything, and then we got the sprite from that. Um... So I'm not thinking that there's going to be any more sprites down there necessarily. If I'm really desperate and I looked everywhere else, I'll give it a try. Carrie, where's where's the last sprite? Do you know? Yeah. A group of fox frost foxes is known as a shiver. Hmm. Good to know. Okay, I'm going to pop over here and have a, a good look around these islands. Just in case. Because I was all excited about the cat there. And it's a good chance that there might be... Something hidden. So anything that I can break. Because I found ones by opening chests. I found ones by breaking rocks. It could be a certain time of day or night though. See anything that might be it from here? Maybe one I can. It might even be one I can only find in the winter. Is there anything I can bash with my hammer? Hmm. Okay, well, we have been at this nearly sort of 45 minutes now, so I think I'm going to leave you guys there. And I'm going to do a little bit of off-camera searching. When I come back, hopefully, we should be able to find this last sprite. I'll show you where it is if I find it. I will just carry on wandering around here for a little bit. And also, um, we will maybe make a, something nice, well, for increasing the farm rating for that fluff cub um, and also at some point we will go back and, and get a water trough for the bambex because I don't want the bambex to be thirsty so that is it for today I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more of uh, Yonder the Cloudcatcher Chronicles then please do subscribe to the channel I'll let you know when the videos are out I hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome